Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hope Taylor and I am a senior portrait photographer serving both Charleston and Savannah. And this YouTube channel is where I share education for photographers as well as a little bit of a peek into my life living in the low country. And if you haven't watched any of my other videos or followed me for any amount of time, senior portraits are my heart and soul. They are the work that I just absolutely love in my business. I began my senior portrait business when I was actually just a junior in high school. So naturally, my business began because I was photographing all of my peers in their senior portraits and it escalated very quickly into me going full-time as a photographer right out of high school. So now it's been almost 10 years of photographing seniors full-time and now I love teaching other photographers everything that I know about creating beautiful senior portrait imagery and a profitable business. So today I want to kind of get back to the basics just a little bit and give you guys three beginner tips for photographing really beautiful senior portraits and then we are going to cut to one of my senior sessions from a few weeks ago in downtown Savannah so that you guys can see some of those tips in action and I just want to say really quickly before we start if you enjoy this video and you enjoy seeing the real behind the scenes of actual senior sessions and how I handle real life scenarios in real time as well as seeing like my camera settings and all of my thought processes as I'm doing it then I have a product called the senior scoop that I think you'll absolutely absolutely love. It's a monthly membership for photographers that's only $27 a month and we share a new senior session every single month where you get to see the real shoot completely uncut with my thought processes for every single thing that I'm doing at the shoot plus bonus videos of me editing and curating and post-processing those images and you get coaching with me. You get an online community. It's truly amazing. We have about 500 photographers in there and it is so much fun. So I'm going to link that in the description but let's Let's go ahead and dive into today's content. So tip number one that we are going to start with is we are going to talk a little bit about gear. And I'm not somebody that loves to talk the technical side of things. I'm not somebody that geeks out over camera gear, but I do think that it's really, really important, especially when it comes to senior portraits, because you need a very specific focal length and very specific gear and settings to get those really beautiful, super sharp images of your seniors with those beautiful blurry bokeh backgrounds. So I know that this can be very overwhelming. There are so so many options for camera gear and lenses, especially now that all of the camera companies are releasing a mirrorless version um, of their lenses. And so I think it's really important to know that you don't have to have a lot in order to create beautiful senior images. So my 50 millimeter lens is the lens that I use for almost all of my senior sessions for 90% of every single session. If I only had this one lens, I could still create all of the work that you see from me as a senior photographer. And the reason that I absolutely love it is because it is so unbelievably versatile. In my opinion, it's the most versatile lens of all of the prime lenses that you could purchase because it is the closest to our eyesight and the distance that we're seeing when we're like looking around at real life. It is just the most flattering lens that allows me to get everything from close-ups to really beautiful wide landscape shots all without having to switch my lenses at a shoot. So I just mentioned that it's my favorite prime lens and if you don't know what prime lenses are I think that's really important to touch on because outside of my 50 millimeter the only other lenses that I ever use at a senior session are my 35 millimeter and my 85 millimeter and all of those are prime lenses meaning that they are one fixed focal length and they I can't zoom in or out. And the reason that I enjoy prime lenses more than the zoom lenses is, well, there, there's quite a few reasons, but the biggest one is that they are incredibly sharp and allow for those beautiful blurred backgrounds. And they are the most consistent in terms of those two things in my experience. My zoom lenses are beautiful, but they don't create the same consistent look in portraits that I absolutely love getting with my 50 millimeter lens. So tip number one is to know that you don't need a lot of gear to have really beautiful senior imagery, but I do recommend that you use prime lenses to get those crisp, really sharp images of your client's eyes, but with those really dreamy, blurry backgrounds. Tip number two is that I shoot with a pretty low aperture. So we've talked a lot about those really beautiful blurry backgrounds that I just love so much. And the best way to achieve that is to shoot with a really low aperture or f-stop. And the thing that I wanted to note in this video is that a lot of these really expensive prime lenses like the 50 millimeter 1.2, you can take your f-stop all the way down to 1.2 and shoot wide open. And that's one of the reasons that those lenses are so expensive, right? 
but that does not mean that you should shoot that wide open. So I shoot all of my senior portraits at 2.5 aperture because instead of shooting all the way wide open at 1.2, if I do that, I'm leaving very little margin for error. So if I am even slightly off focus, if I move just a little bit, if my client moves just a little bit, all of a sudden their eye is no longer tack sharp and in focus like I want it to be. So moving it up to 2.5 gives me a lot more margin for error without sacrificing sacrificing those beautiful, creamy, bokeh, blurry backgrounds that we love so much. So prime lenses shooting at a low aperture, but not necessarily wide open. I like the 2.2 to 2.5 range and using a white reflector. Tip number three is my reflector. It is my secret weapon for my senior sessions. If you've ever watched any of my other senior videos, you may have seen me use it. I even have a video dedicated just to how I use the reflector without having an assistant or an intern with me. I have the one with the hand I'll link it in the description, but it allows me to fill the light on my clients' faces in a beautiful and very flattering way that creates the signature, even and accurate skin tones that you see in all of my senior portrait work. So I don't use the gold side. I don't use the silver side. I just use a very simple white reflector with a handle and I pop it underneath my clients to fill the light on their face, create beautiful, even skin tones, and it even makes editing later easier because it kind of hides blemishes by filling in that light and it creates really beautiful catch light in your client's eyes. So those are my three tips. Prime lenses, a low aperture that isn't wide open but somewhere in the middle, and using a white reflector will really help you to level up your senior images. So we're gonna cut to Ella's senior session in downtown Savannah. You're gonna see just two or three minutes of us working together, but if you really like it, then you're gonna love the senior scoop where you get the entire two hour shoot. But let's go ahead and cut so you can see these tips in real time. Um, you know what, I'm actually gonna shift where standing because the light is coming through here really pretty I'm gonna have you come stand right in front of me right here while there's nobody on this walkway we're gonna do this yes oh this is so good okay do that same pose for me one more time just kind of really softly and then looking over towards that court over there I'm just gonna readjust my settings oh this is so beautiful okay hold it like that and then smiling right back here towards me gorgeous and then I'm gonna have you kind of lean just a little bit in towards the camera yep just like that beautiful girl you look amazing I'm obsessed with this color. It's my favorite color of all time. It's so pretty. It's my favorite color ever. And it looks so good right here at this spot. Okay, and then I'm gonna have you, let's turn slightly this way, cause you like the side of your face. Let's do this hand just up on your hip and kind of cross those ankles really softly one more time. Perfect. I'm gonna have you laugh over towards your mama over there. It's gonna get all these settings locked in one more time. Oh, perfect. And then smiling right back here towards me. Beautiful. And then I'll have you keep your feet together and just kind of pop that front knee for me instead. Yeah. Oh, these shoes are so cute too. And if you need to, you can hold a piece of hair back with that back hand. Yeah, just so it's not blowing in your face. Cute. Adjust this. No, don't say sorry, it's not your fault. That's why I pull mine back for that reason. Okay, and smiling right here towards me. Beautiful. Oh girl, these are so good. I actually really like your hand and your hair. Let's leave your hand kind of right here. And I'm gonna have you drop your eyes down towards that shoulder, kind of smile towards that shoulder. I'm gonna get a close up. But go ahead and actually look down towards that shoulder for just a second. I'm gonna get my settings set. Beautiful, and then pop those eyes right here towards me. Gorgeous, and then I'm gonna have you give me like a cheesy, like a ha 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 laugh right here towards the camera. Oh, just like that, that was perfect. Okay, the wind's working in your favor right now. You have like a Beyonce wind blown moment <laughs> happening. Okay, I'm gonna have you turn right back here towards me, and let's do that same little ankle cross. I just feel like it shows the shoes, so cute. And then let's just kind of link your fingers really softly right here for me. Um, and I'm gonna have you look right over towards that basketball court one more time. I'm gonna get some closer up shots here. Girl, you look so beautiful. And then eyes right here smiling towards me. Gorgeous. And then go ahead and give me one more like ha 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 laugh right this way. Yeah, just a little towards the camera. Perfect. Okay, yeah, the wind is doing good things for you right now. Oh girl, this is literally my dream come true. Okay, take like, half a step closer to that branch. I don't want it touching you, but I just want it to frame your face. Perfect. And I'm just gonna adjust these settings really quick. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. Hold on, just pushing a couple buttons here. Got a little smudge on there. All right, and then go ahead and drop those eyes towards your shoulder. We're gonna do no smile for this first one. Hold it right there, and then pop those eyes right here towards me. Ooh, girl, this is so good. And then smiling right here towards me too. Perfect. So, so good. And then I'm gonna have you bring that front hand and just kind of wrap it around to kind of hold that arm. Yep, and then just kind of drop that shoulder down a little bit right there. You got one little baby hair right here. I'm just gonna push back. Yeah. It's like curling with your necklace. Hold on. There we go, perfect. 
I'm gonna go ahead and drop those eyes towards that shoulder one more time. Beautiful. Hold it right here, girl. And then pop those eyes right here towards me. Stunning, don't move, I'm coming in close. Gorgeous, and then just laughing right here towards me too. Perfect. So I hope that it was helpful to watch me shoot at a real session. We love mixing up these YouTube videos so they're not all just me talking and you guys actually get to see me working on location with real clients. But if you enjoyed this and you really liked that style of education and seeing my camera settings and my before and after images in real time and seeing me navigate an actual session with a real paying client, then you are going to love the Senior Scoop. It is like that, but times a thousand. Every single month, we do coaching calls, we have an online community that's my number one priority as a coach every month. I communicate with you guys, encourage you, support you, answer questions all month long. And it's only $27 a month. So it's just the cost of a couple Starbucks drinks and you can cancel at any time. There are no minimum requirements. So if you wanna learn more and jump into the Senior Scoop, you can join 500 plus photographers that are already in there from all over the world. But as always, I will be back with a brand new YouTube video next week. I would love to have you subscribe here for free education. I'm so grateful that you tuned in and I'll see you next time. Bye.